So Gregory, thank you for asking whether it's appropriate to join a, a Facebook group as your business page if you feel like you have something to add in terms of your professional expertise to the group, you know, as your business page, et cetera. Well, first of all, um, many Facebook groups actually disallow that option. Like as a Facebook mm. group admin, uh, that I, you know, multiple groups, in the settings, you can say people can only join this group as a profile or also allow them to join as a business or as a fan page, you know, public page. So that's actually, an, an, so if the admin has not restricted people joining as the business page, then to me, that signals the etiquette that it's okay to do so. Now, from there is up to the rest of the culture of the group. You could take a look. You could start to observe whether people are commenting on each other's posts as their business page, whether they're making posts as their business page. And obviously, you know, if the culture is doing it, then it's obviously appropriate. And then the third level, of course, is your own content and your own comments as you contribute. Some people are quite salesy. You're not that way. And so, you know, it's like... However, whatever comments or content you show up as, that determines a lot what how people feel about it, how people think of you. And that determines a lot whether they care or not that it's a business page thing and whether they're interested to, to go look. Because, of course, if your comments are interesting or your content's interesting, posts are interesting, of course, people are going to go and look. Some people will, not everybody, but some people will go look. And at that point, you'll you'll then get people to look at your business page or your or your profile. Now, one interesting thing I've noticed is that when you click on someone's profile within a Facebook group, it brings them not to the, the profile, it brings them to the group profile. So like hmm. they've, they've, they've cut off, not they cut off, Facebook has cut off the ease of someone visiting your, your profile. <laughs> There's like one extra step. Now they first go to your group profile, which shows you, which shows the person, the visitor, your recent posts, and maybe a few comments you've made. And then if they're interested, they have to click view main profile or have to click the three dots and then view main profile, depending on their, their interface. So ironically, it's not as easy anymore. I mean, the, the, yeah, it, it's like, ultimately what we need to do is to make good content and good comments, particularly good posts. If you make good posts within a group, they come to your group profile. That's really what's highlighted there. So, and then they might take the extra step of messaging you, or you might end up in a con comments section where you're like making a connection there. And then you say, oh, let me maybe message you as well. So I hope this is helpful. Gregory. Yeah. Thank you, George. And quick, Quick one last piece to it. As you're, as you're sharing, I, I realize conversely, I've also joined recently uh, a, a healer's sort of community that is specifically inviting us to promote our healing services. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I, but I joined that group from my personal page. <laughs> and I realized, yeah. wait a second, they're actually inviting, you know, right. and, they're inviting, and so yeah. it, it would make more sense. So I, I haven't given a lot of thought to it in the past. So I'm appreciating yeah. The, the value of the distinction. Thank you. You can rejoin, uh, yeah. you know, leave and rejoin as your business page if that allows. Thank That's allowed. Thanks.